Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and today we are in round four of the Sacramento Hyperspace Trial. This is the second or third stop on the world tour. My co-host for this round is... The Real Fun Bobby. That's right. You've seen him in the chat. You've seen him just be super rowdy, maybe even in person. But here we go. This is his commentating debut. Oh, no. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start by breaking down the list. All right, let's start with uh, Ryan Martin's list. We've got Gideon Hask, Del Mico, Hellrunner, Aiden Versio, Wampa, and Sane Marana. Nice and simple, no upgrades, just straightforward TIE Swarm. On the right, we've got Donnie Dukes with Finn, Heroic, Perceptive Copilot, Pattern Analyzer, Covenel, Leia, Advanced Optics, Greer with Heroic and Advanced Optics, and Temin with Composure, Integrated S foils and jamming beam. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get the pole up here. Looks like it's the site's not working, but once we can get that up, we'll get that up. So looking at some of the advantages and disadvantages on each list, I think if I was um, if I was voting in this poll, one of the things that really sticks out to me is the amount of initiative matching that Ryan has, and he is the first player. He's moving all his force first. Um, that means he's going to be able to set up for some blocks. Yeah. Moving that TIE Swarm in to block up Finn is going to put Finn in a really bad spot if he can do that. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, Greer and uh, Kova as well, right? Yep. Yeah, the, the pole isn't up quite yet because it's the site can't be reached. It's broken, guys. It's gone. Um... Looking at the approach here on the bottom of the board. Let's actually talk a little bit about the abilities of each of these pilots. So let's go ahead and start by looking at... Where did it go here? Resistance. Oops, I didn't do that. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> so do you know off the top of your head Finn's ability while I look up the rest? Finn's ability is... He can take a strain to add a focus result... Or he can add a blank result to attack and defense. Yes. Which is really handy on defense because you aren't punished for taking a strain. I don't remember Kova's ability. Yep. Uh, the red maneuver increases a attack and defense die mm -hmm. by one. So uh, before the question even comes up in the chat, people are going to ask, does Leia work with Kova? The answer is no. yes. The answer is yes. Uh, yes, it's the uh, R four is the one does that not. doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, the R four is the one that doesn't work because R four changes the maneuver you're executing. Excuse me, uh, Leia changes the ex the maneuver you're executing versus R four, which actually the idea is changes the maneuver the on the dial. So it's a temporary effect versus a permanent effect. Exactly, exactly. Chewbacca over here getting swole with all his water. You gotta gotta make sure to. Much, <laughs> much water is good. Absolutely. So, Bobby, if you were at home right now and the poll was actually working, what would you would you be voting one or two? Uh, based on what's sitting on the table, I would probably be voting for the tie swarm. Okay. Why but is that? I happen to be an imperial fan. Okay. <laughs> J just because of that. Just because of that. Fair. Because I think both of these lists have an equal opportunity to decimate the other one. I love when technology is just like it's like meh. I don't I don't really want to. Okay, let's refresh this. I'm just double checking if it's on our side or is it the polls server side. I think it might be the polling server server side. Yep, not us. Okay, cool. Well, I want to talk about Finn here because there's a couple of weird interactions that happen in the game uh, before. It comes up. So Finn's ability reads, while you defend or perform an attack, you may add one blank result or you may gain one strain token to add one focus result. So the way the way that the gaining a strain, the timing of it, so it says while you defend. So this is in the middle of the attack and the strain token is removed at the end of an attack. Right, exactly. <laughs> at the end of an attack. So it, it's 
when you're defending, there is basically no no punishment for it. Exactly. Essentially, is what happens because the strain happens after your opponent has already rolled their red dice and before they could ever take advantage of it. So a lot of times you see players who play Finn not even put the strain out there. When it comes to defending, you might end up seeing that. The only time you actually gain the strain is when you're attacking. So that'll come up there. Uh, like we already talked about Covenel. When she does red maneuver, she's able to increase her attack dice value by one. Uh, I really like Kova being able to get the hard ones and the stops in there, especially with Leia. Um, man, it looks like, looks like Ryan came to play. He's actually bringing the swarm in. He's coming in for it. So, just so you know, Bobby, we can hear the table <coughs> when it's time, but the people can't hear. So that, that sound you're hearing is the table. Perfect. Right there. So as we need to, we can turn that on and off. All right, guys, you know, we can't actually poll officially, but let's go ahead. Just feel free to spam the chat with <laughs> with what you want. Whatever uh, whatever number we see more of is who we're going to say uh, has won the poll. Just the easiest thing to do. Greer racing around the outside. Mm -hmm. So Greer has the ability after executing, I think it's fully executing maneuver, you're able to rotate that arc for free. You just do it. So Greer can get up to three actions in a turn. Why no poll? They're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <coughs> it's not working. All right. So what do you think the – don't forget, you also can draw in here with your finger. What, what do you think is the, the engagement path that Donnie wants here? Donnie's going to be bringing Greer all the way around, maybe a little closer on the inside. I think he's going to bait with Finn. Bring Finn in. Try to bait with Finn because Finn can take the shots. Mm -hmm. Sweep in here and keep Covenel slowly in the back. Yep. And one of the mistakes that I can see a lot of, lot of or I have seen a lot of players make with Kova is like she's slow. Yeah. Like she wants to be knife fighting is what she wants. Uh, I, I'm a little concerned because Temin and – Greer do like to go so fast that he might end up overextending his squad. And it takes a single turn where all these guys go, chick, 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 there's all one turn here, and just delete a ship. Pull Greer right off the table in mm -hmm. one shot. Yep, yep. Raven, Raven Cat trolling in the chat saying, Judge, something is wrong with the resistance shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Judge, they didn't buy two packs <laughs> is that the farmer method mm -hmm. absolutely it's like a, it's like a little blaster <laughs> pew, pew, pew. i like it i'm a fan so um as we're hanging out here want to give taking blah, whoa words are hard just ate lunch i'm digesting <laughs> my, most of my blood's in my tummy figuring that out um want to remind you guys to hit that Twitch Prime button. You can do so every 30 days. Super easy way to support the podcast. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. If you don't know how to do that, exclamation point Prime. Uh, but today today is all about that Isophane Challenge. Bobby, what's the Isophane Challenge? The Isophane Challenge. Isophane has committed to donate an equal amount of money to whatever is donated to the stream today. Up to a $5,000 maximum. I chipped my $200 in first thing this morning. Yep. You should too. <laughs> And I thank you for that. I pu I'm publicly thanking you. Well, I appreciate it, but I thank you for everything you do for us. You're welcome, man. All right, looks like Ryan has five out of the six dials down. Honestly, playing at a good place for a TIE Swarm player. We had a lot of TIE Swarm players in Chicago. And they slow. <laughs> well, at this point, it's one ship. Right, for now. For now. Because <laughs> what ends up happening is as you end up, t if you want to continue turning, it starts becoming more and more complicated as the ships start overlapping each other. So I want to really see what uh, what he's planning on doing here. All right, we got two bank. He's trying to control the middle of the board. Not overcommitting one way or another. See where everybody's going. Mm -hmm. Cause most likely, if if Ryan's going to end up, excuse me, if Donnie's going to end up engaging with these resistance guys, it's going to be either with Temin or with Finn coming in the middle here. Um, Greer is. Pr I'm, I'm guessing Greer is probably going to be pretty cagey. I'm guessing something something out to the outside and boost. Yeah. Try and get in behind him. He goes Finn with the uh, too hard. Hmm. <laughs> I 
I realized a uh, co computer error there. Do you see? Do you see all the points? <laughs> the, the the ships don't have point values on them. Let me <laughs> go ahead and remake that list. That's interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Weird. Okay, we'll try this again. It happens. So he has a 200 point bid at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Continuing with the two banks in. Heroic. Perceptive. Pattern analyzer. So as an out, since you, you like to play your empire, I, I know that. I do like my empire. As an outsider looking into the resistance... Do you, what do, what do you think of the point cost of Leia Organa? So she is currently sitting at is it 18 points, 19 points. I think she's at a good fair price. She could go up or down a point depending, mm -hmm. but right now she feels fairly balanced to me. I agree. She's she's still good at 19 points. She's still which good. Which sounds crazy. I think she could go up to 20 without a problem. You start getting into the 22 range, I think she becomes a little overcosted and unusable. Well, not unusable, but mildly <laughs> usable. I irritating to put in a list, to put it that way. It, it doesn't become an auto-include the same way. All right. Did we fix it? We yeah, have points. So. We have points. Good thing we fixed that now, but rather than before. <laughs> All righty. And there's Greer staying to the outside. Free rotate on the arc. Because why not? You get to do it. It's fun. Looks like he's choosing. Is he gonna boost? Yes. Donnie giving, giving the uh, the age-old symbol. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> Move it to the right. All right. So it's gonna be range three of most of the Tie Fighters. Might be able to catch Aiden. But of course, you're you're always shooting into, uh, into Howl Runner. And then if Aiden triggers, then Aiden fantastic. Triggers. Yeah. And then Aiden becomes an academy with higher value. Mm-hmm. Higher initiative value and still a blocker. All right, and Hal Runner getting into the formation. Now, one thing I always find interesting with uh, Tie Swarm players, you know, he ended up in a bl he started in a bl in like a perfect block, but now this is kind of wonky now, right? So there could be some possibilities of seeing, you know, uh, some weird bumping along the way if he stays in the block, especially with bank terms. Oh yeah. Start a combat. Starting with Hall Runner, the front line might be in. Waiting for. It's going from Iden now. Looks like we got Iden into Finn at range three, unobstructed. He's going to go ahead and spend that focus. Two hits. Two on three. He's doing the uh, the fin, fin shenanigans here. Add a focus. Get a strain. Spend the focus. The strain goes away. Can you do me a favor? You tell him we understand the, the shenanigans with Finn. Don't worry. You don't <laughs> have to do it. <laughs> Just let him know. All righty. Splitting fire here. Going into Temin now. How runner. Ow. There it is. To hit crit. One hit. He's taking a shield right off the bat there on Temin. Initiative fours are up. So Donnie accidentally measuring from the wrong ship. 
All right, here's Tim and Wexley. Range three into Gideon. Whiffs. Kova out. Going a hall runner, range two. Yeah, there's no reason for him not to spend it there. Not getting shot. And safe. Nobody, I mean, I guess you try to go with somebody who's spent tokens already, but. Wampa. Try to flip that charge now. And safe. Ryan, you know, Ryan has a swagger to his role, doesn't he? Yeah. He has, I expect to evade. <laughs> here, here are my evades, not here are my dice. <laughs> I like it. All right, so just, this is going to be back at Finn from Wampa. Hit crit. Mods doing what they're supposed to do. And safe. Spend the focus. He can have three focuses if he wants to. Yeah, th three evades. For no penalty. Okay, Ryan just establishing uh, the mistake that Donnie did make early uh, where he actually and he accidentally measured from Finn first, which does give you a lot of extra information, seeing the range there. So... Uh, just Ryan, just bringing it up. It's important. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. No cheating on the stream, right? Yeah, correct. There, we, well, yeah, officially he did. It, we got our one, guys. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Gumboats in the chat. One soft cheat on stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby. What, what do you think? What do you think so far? Uh, I think he's in a spot with the tie swarm that he has to commit one way or another. He's sitting at that gas cloud. If he wants to keep actions, he's got to commit to something. Coven, Finn can be juicy targets. Finn's hard to kill. But then you leave Greer completely alone on your backside. Mm -hmm. You have an option right or left, and I'm not sure which way he chooses to go. Right. So one of the things about the resistance A-wings is the fact that they can shoot from behind. So what I want to see Donnie do is gun it through here, either with a three bank or a five forward. That three bank's way too long. <laughs> that ends about right there. Um, and be able to get behind the swarm, because if there's a possibility of these guys turning in this way, he'd be able to do something like boost away and point the arc to the back or, uh, or barrel roll as need be, especially because he can rotate for free. Like It, co it costs him absolutely nothing. I like the five straight boost there. Yeah. But Kova, Temin, and uh, and Finn are, they're just lined up for the joust, right? Like, I th is that really what's going to happen? Kind of looks that way. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, the, the other side of the coin is um, he could decide to be extra aggressive with uh, with Greer. I keep wanting to call him Lulo. That's why I keep pausing. <laughs> so used to seeing the, that ship on the board. Um, he can get super aggressive, do something like a two bank if he doesn't expect at all those TIE fighters coming his way. So you know what? I have, I'm have. i confident that Ryan wants to keep his arcs forward and try to delete one of my ships over here. Or is that too risky? It would be a good gamble if he doesn't turn into Greer. Mm -hmm. I would not turn into Greer here. I know it leaves him on your backside, and that's not the best place to have him. Yep. But you have a lot more ships coming at you from the front. Do you turn on the one and get lit up on the side by three, or do you face off the three and try to delete something there? Right. <laughs> you guys can't hear what we're hearing, but it's, it's, it's fantastic. I love table banter. It'll it's be my, fine. It's my, it's my, fa <laughs> it's my favorite. All right, here we go. The five straight. Aggressive. Coming in to try and block Finn. 
So that takes away actions, obviously. Takes away two focuses. Oh, Wampa. Wampa. No penalty from the uh, the gas cloud. Minus the lost action, which yeah. if you're blocking, do you really need the action? No. And a blocked fin is, is a very sad fin. Mm -hmm. He fin. wants those focuses in order to do all the shenanigans. Now he's just leaning on heroic. <laughs> That's a little scary. Uh huh. So okay, split. It. It's time to split up the tie swarm. Two banking here towards Temin. I think br breaking Wampa out of the swarm, if everything else goes two bank, is a great deal because you're you're causing your opponent to lose a lot of firepower there on Finn. You're prote protecting your swarm from the flank, and you're going to go after Temin and hopefully delete Temin. Mm -hmm. All right, changing it up a little more. Taking really strong control of the center of the board. He's in complete control of the planet. Spreading the arcs out, making sure he has shots where he needs them. Oh, party foul. The sacred game state is ruined forever. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn it off. Shut it down, boys. We're done. <laughs> All righty, and here, here's the, like, simple mistakes like that, even though it was an accident, right? Now, the, the, the question was the distance between here. And, it, and does that bungle up your formation for your future maneuvers? Right, and also arcs, right? Like that, especially coming in with that arc at a 45, would his position that he had before ke keep Temin in arc? You know, stuff like that. That's little mistakes like that really hurt. Those two degrees become really significant when you're really trying to hit that target and you're just out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Brings Greer in right behind. Possibly blocking Hellrunner there. Yep. And separating out that formation to keep her rerolls away from a lot of the, f the rest of those ties. All right, here's the shenanigans with Composure. He's going to boost, fail the boost, get a focus off Composure. So Temin's ability allows him to perform a boost action after performing a two, executing a two through four speed maneuver. So he failed the action there, which gives him the focus. And now he gets his normal action. Most likely a target lock. Yeah. Taking a lock there. On to Gideon. Go ahead and adjust that color. That that looks purple, not pink. All right. Here, Leia. Three bank. That is a red maneuver. Executed as a white, so she will have three attack dice, but no stress, and will have an action. Focus. And now how runner gets flipped. Is she going to be blocked? Yes. This does a, cu a couple of things. Um, you know, makes it so that there's yeah. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure this is the only ship that's going to get a reroll. Mm -hmm. All of these are going to be out of that one range bubble to get her reroll. That's huge. All right, going into Temin, this is Howlrunner. Uses the Howlrunner ability. Two evades, baby. Natty's. So this is Aiden going into 10 minutes as well, range should, 2. Should be unobstructed. Yeah.
too far out. Yeah. Good call there, Bobby. Only one. So he is he is going to spend it there. I'm surprised. On one shield only? I know he's got a lot of shots coming in here, but... Two hits. Ooh. Whiff. And no heroic there. No heroic on that one. That's two shields gone. All shields are down on Temin. And here's that angle we talked about, right? That's this is out of out of arc now. Yep. I think it was our, at, w was going to be out of arc originally, mm -hmm. and if he'd have banked in, he'd have been looking down the barrel a little better. Range one into Kova. Nope, that's range two. And using Sen's ability to just deliver that face down damage card. Just roll Natty crits. That's what he was telling me before. He's like, I don't need marksmanship. Just roll Natty's. It's <laughs> 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 a strong, strong strategy. All right, Gideon. One has a focus there to make it two. Two hits. Ryan really getting aggressive here. And whiffs again. Temin's at half points, down to two hole. But he's still on the board and still going to shoot back. That's right. All the fours are done on Ryan's side. It's Donnie's turn. R Kova unobstructed onto Aiden. Four dice with a focus Ooh. going into Aiden. So here's Del Mico. Nice. Del Mico allows friendly ships uh, who are defending against damaged ships to have a defensive reroll. Strong. Going, continuing to go into Aiden. Has a focus. This is from Greer. Not taking any shots. Spends the focus for two. All blanks gets to choose here what to do. Probably just takes a two. And does. All right, going range one into Gideon. Double modded. No, oh, single modded shot now. Spent mm -hmm. the focus. Just a target lock. Yep, that seems good. Spend the lock. <laughs> Only two. And blanks out. He's probably going to use Aiden here. There's Dell. Just a crit. Never mind. No he'll Aiden. He'll take it. Hold breach. Everything's face up. And that was into Gideon. All right, range two from Finn into Gideon. Trying to see if he can get at least one more damage card. All right, just one. He's going to be taking another one. Yeah, there's no reason for him not to take it. It is a crit, though. Direct hit because of the hole breach. And Gideon off the board. 50 or points. No, he's going to spend his item charge oh, he to, did spend to get rid of the direct so that he doesn't take the second hit. What? So he gets to correct it and not yeah. take the that third damage Very to keep nice. him on the table. Very nice. All right. I lied to you all. A, a bold move. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, so the trigger on Aiden is... Um, before a friendly TIE fighter would suffer one or more damage, the card tells you to suffer a damage. You're like, no, nah, fam, never mind. <laughs> so just cancels that one out. Very so nice. Able to keep that TIE fighter around. Probably should have used the item on the crit in the first place instead of risking it, but... It worked out. It, it worked was out one of those, like, like if, it, if it was a double damage, and he, like, if it wasn't a double damage, 
and he uses it. He probably feels worse later on. Yeah. If you know, this one he he used it for what she's intended for. Keeping a ship on the board. Keeping a ship on the board. Exactly. Um, so un- as go, we're, go for it. As we're back to dials, the options for the tie swarm start to spread out quite a bit. Probably see some three Ks in here. Three K there. Iden can one hard or two hard in here to try and get the block. But she's she's moving after. So she no, wants she, she probably wants a K turn, I'm thinking. Oh that's she moves oh, she moves before she could block on Kova. The one hard in here. Oh, she's initiative four. Sorry, I was thinking yeah. five. Yep. Yeah, she would move before Kova. She won't be able to block Finn. Two banks in here. I'm not sure where to put Dell. <laughs> yeah, he's in a weird spot. I mean, Howell just two straights. Clears stress. Or Howell doesn't have stress. Clears... Greer and sits up here. When it's no longer the block, it gets a lot more complicated. Mm -hmm. hmm. And Greer three banks around. Get get that Four, butt gun ooh, ready. No, five straights out. Turn your arc backwards. Kova could hard stop. Do you think Tem Temin's uh, short for this world? Is this the turn? Temin's short for the world. <laughs> Doesn't look like he has a lot of options of places to be. He was a young, angsty boy. Became a dead X-Wing pilot. If you haven't read the Aftermath trilogy, that's where uh, he comes in as Temin Wexley. We find out later gets called snap the first book really hard to get through the second and third one are much easier they're better they're not great but they're better you get a lot of insight into the time in between the development of the empire and uh and the first order and how palpatine like wanted everything to go to crap he's like you guys let me die it's all your fault <laughs> empire goes to trash it's hilarious absolutely hilarious it's on the shelf to read i haven't gotten there yet mm -hmm. it's entertainment i i I enjoyed the story. The first, like I said, the first book's a little hard to get through, but uh, after after you get through it and kind of get attached to the characters, you're like, oh, I know who everybody is. I get it. My favorite character is Mr. Bones. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Can I get some gumboats for Mr. Bones if you know who that is? He's my favorite character in the book, for sure. <laughs> That's a big turn. A lot of contemplation on Ryan's side. Mm -hmm. He is just staring over the top of that table. <laughs> Spoilers. I didn't spoil anything. Bill Copperman is correct. Lost Stars is... Have you read Lost Stars? You need to read Lost Stars. That's all I'm going to say. It's... My favorite book out of the new canon. I will have to put that on the on the agenda quickly. Yes. Finn does the one bank. All right, here we go. Avoids the d the gas cloud there. Nice. Three K from Gideon, keeping in as close as he can. 
Maybe the 4K from Aiden. Anticipating a potential block there. Yeah. Jousty, joust, space joust. Shoot people, turn around, shoot people. Yeah, do it again, that's <laughs> right. Is that going to be a bump, or is that... That that's looks like close. it might clear. Use the wiggle room. He's got it. Space. Boom. But I believe he is sitting on that cloud. <laughs> Last but not least is Del Miko. All right, party time here. Greer. Probably some type of bank, right? Two, two, three. Looks like the three, three bank. bank. You called it. Very nice. Turn your arc for free. Put down the focus token. There's the focus. Yep. What did Temin do? Little snap, trying to, mm -hmm. trying to get out of dodge. Looks like it's a four straight, trying to avoid getting shot. It's a good move. He'll get the free boost. Definitely yep. actually use it this time. Yeah. <laughs> no intentional boost fail. Now, if he bet right with Hellrunner and made the hard one, he could be shooting Temin in the backside there. Trying to put down a Calculate token for a focus. And two straight here with Hellrunner. So Hellrunner in, in the sights of Greer. It looks like all three have good shots on. <laughs> There's four shots in the fin. But all three have good shots into Hellrunner this time, so she could yeah. be a very sad Hellrunner soon. And he's been pretty tough. Hellrunner reroll. Doesn't spend it. Yeah, he wants, he to, sees, he wants he to keep her that, alive. He sees that coming. One of A does a shenanigans, no damage. If you need help with what the shenanigans are, those of you in the chat, help the people out. Sane, range one into Finn. How runner is at range one. Oh, but he could use their ability. He's going to go ahead yeah. and keep that hit crit crit. It's going to feel bad if it ends up being no damage. Takes one crit. Still takes a crit. It's on the shield, though, instead, oh, of, uh, instead of underneath, yeah. Aiden and Gideon still available to eat up Finn. Here we go. It's another range one shot. How runner's too far away, though. Hit crit seems good, though. And out of focus tokens. Council mm. fire. If you're ever on Gold Squadron podcast stream, actually put the card in the box. Waving the card in front of the camera does nothing because it's cropped image. They look at like, oh, I'm in the, the camera. You're not in the camera. Ooh, threes. That's it. And Finn is gone. When he runs out of focus tokens, he gets very sad Yeah, fast. it gets squishy. Just like any ship, right? You you focus fire it down, It'll it's going to be in pain. So he's the initiative two, so he is going to be off the table now that all the fours are done shooting. 
Kova range one, so she did make that maneuver. Greg, yep. here we go, four dice. Spend the focus, the only reason not to there. D Del Mico takes two. Down to one hole on Sen. F for Finn, F for First Blood, F for Fire. <laughs> Somebody was on fire. That's right. <laughs> All right, here's the back gun on Greer. Range one, three dice, has a focus token. Hit crit. He's got advanced optics. He's deciding whether or not to use it. He's going to go ahead and spend it. He better... He's better to be safe than sorry is the idea here. Yes, he didn't actually even need to spend it, but Sen is off the board. That's points scored there. Donnie up to 65, but Ryan's still leading with 71 points. I'm going to take a second here and adjust the dice cam because the dice tray has been knocked around a little bit. Oh, they're not done. Let me <laughs> let me wait. Still got a Wampa. Wampa was not shot, so he's able to use his ability to get the additional die. Evaded. That was in the Kova now. Using her ability at range two. All righty. Let's just double check. Yes, like I said, the dice box been bumped around a little bit. Oh, we got no more to the left. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'm actually going to go adjust over there. I'll be right back. Bobby, don't burn anything down. <laughs> <laughs> so as we're looking at this, Greer is on his way out. He's probably going to have to do a two hard. Come around, boost back in. Kova can stop, do a one hard. Actually, I'm not sure if that one hard sits there on the debris or not. We did two straight here, two straight there, two straight here. Out of Gideon, Iden, and Wampa. Temmin's out of the fight for the moment. So I don't think Ryan's even going to consider where Temmin's going at this point. The Talon roll, I still think, keeps him too far out of the fight. Get a 3K out of Del Mico. And Howell could just probably three straight forward or four straight forward and skip over where Aiden is just to get the re-rolls to everybody else. Ah. Hey, when I do that. <laughs> it was blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back. All right, so we got a two straight here from Wampa. Nice stress clearing, keeping your arcs. People in the chat, where are you guys watching from? Let's see who who's representing out there. Who I'm sad for are the people who say Sacramento, but they're not here. Like, man, you could be partying with us. You say, I didn't get into the hyperspace <laughs> trial. Like, why didn't you sign up earlier? <laughs> Ravencast says, you know me. I do know you. Two bank. Brazil. Pre preparing for Greer to come around with that two hard mm -hmm. bank in. Absolutely. He's going to be a sad Greer. He's going to be in, be in all the arcs there. <laughs> Plus. 
playing it safe with Dell, just coming around. His ability has been really effective with defending. Especially when you're able to put those damage cards under shields. Mm hmm. Temin's still out of the fight. He's gonna. That might be a range three. Possibly obstructed with a gas cloud. <laughs> Backing up. Me, me, me. The problem is sitting in a few arcs there. Gets the focus. This is with Leia. Sorry, those of us who we just dropped our internet connection here. Gonna have to update the stats here in a minute. Kova took one. Believe that was Aiden shot into Kova. Range three out of Gideon into Covanel. Yeah, it might be range two. I missed damage somewhere. Where was it? So Kova took one. So Kova's okay. down two shields. Wait, this is Kova. Kova's down one shield. So Yeah, got it. Okay. I think that was it so far. And three hits coming out of Gideon into Kova. Taken two. Shields down on Covanel. Sorry for the radio silence, guys, and making sure everything comes up comes back up. Macon, thank you so much for your donation, adding to the Isophane challenge. It appears Temin is does not have anybody in arc. So we're going to see Greer shot. Uh, so he's got a range three obstructed, possibly on Wampa. Range three into Aiden or range three into Hellrunner, both tokenless. Going after Aiden here. Greer using optics for two hits. That's going to be one. That's it for Aiden. And There's Gre nothing he can do. Greer doesn't have a damage, so. Yep. But was that into Aiden? That was into Aiden. They're so still in the force, though, right? That's why he hasn't taken it off yet? Well, and he, he still has Aiden's ability through the end of this round, so you don't want to remove him from the table, Truth. so you still have that reroll roll as Co Covenel's shooting. Hit, hit, crit coming in. Natties. Hit, crit coming in. That's into Howl Runner, and that's a panic, panic pilot. Panic! Donnie up to 105. <laughs> Panic at the disco. Yes, absolutely. So Greer's probably coming out of the fight for the moment. I don't think he can get around fast enough. Does Kova back up again? Re 
reverse straight back? I mean, you can. It's free. <laughs> or, does, <laughs> or does Kova race forward, hoping that he's betting on the uh, tie swarm, expecting him to go backwards again? Hmm. What's what's the fastest straight you can go that's red? Is it four straight? Nah, four that's, straight. That's too fast. And Tum Tamman's coming back into this fight now with everybody facing the other direction for the most part. Hot Runner's double stressed. I mean... Howell's probably not m not much longer for this world. I think I want to see... We're going to hide the dice here for a minute. I think I want to see a hard three from Temin. Boost. In. It's time to get aggressive. See if you can get Howl Runner off the board. That's 20 points sitting out there. Uh, you could also possibly catch Gideon, who is only at one hole as well. For Kova, I want to see him try to preserve her health, and I want to see him put her in this gap. Try to jump over, maybe. I'd do the four forward. That's fine. Four forward gives you the extra dice. You might not be taking shots. You yeah. know how runner's not doing a yep. K turn or anything. And here's the one hard from Wampa. We might get the barrel roll trying to chase Greer. Nope, just nope. the focus. Trying to hunt down Kova. Here's Del. And this is... Gideon coming in faster than I expected. Using that wiggle room, see if he can fit Gideon next to Wampa. And it fits like a glove. Yep. Focus. That four straight on Kova is looking better and better. Yeah. Because that, that'll allow her to go range one toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dell as well. Stop, Stop and focus. Stopped. That means he's he's staring down the barrel of three TIE Fighters. Well, and depending on what Hellrunner did, he may be staring down the barrel of all four. Truth. Red boost. Gets the arc around enough, maybe. I don't even know if we have no. range to get to Dell. That looks a little long to be getting to Dell. Yep. Accidental calculate. That's a focus, guys. I promise. <laughs> Just grab the wrong one. They look close enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> F's in the chat, guys. That's right. Too hard <laughs> here. And the focus token. Howl coming around. Is it a bump? It is a bump. Just barely. That was just barely. You saw Ryan wanting <laughs> wanting that to land so bad. Though what it does do, it put Howl, puts Howl Runner in range one of two of those TIE Fighters. So they're going to have some mods on the shot in addition to their focus token. Taking the pot shot at Greer. Range three. Unobstructed here. How runner reroll. Nothing. Ryan's fours now. Gideon range one. Roll and focus. Oh. Now Kova is damaged. That's why he gets that additional die on top of the range one bonus. Three hits coming in. Kova taking, taking two. two. Halfway there. A 
Ryan deciding to stick with the shots into Covenel. Range three. One hit, no how. Safe. Had the additional dice because of doing a red maneuver. Range two to how? Three dice. Has a focus. That's going to make it two. Dell's ability is on. Here we go. Not today. How runner off the table. An additional 20 points scored by Donnie Dukes. Which, by the way, I think has the best name out of all the competitors this weekend. Donnie Dukes. That's. I feel like he should have like a like a hot dog joint. Donnie Dukes. <laughs> Something like that. Roll, throwing my dice on the floor. Out of the box. In, into the box now. There you go. Two, Two hits. hits. Save. Eliminate Wampus' ability, so yep. hopefully keep a little more survivability oh, there. Oh, you spend that focus. Four hits. This could be the end of Wampa right here. Does have a focus, though. All he needs is paint. It's taking two, no matter what. Yep. Has to spend it to live. Still half points and forces Ryan to spend that focus token. Also, Wampa doesn't get that additional die. Well, and now Hellrunner being dead doesn't get the reroll as well. That's right. Three blank dice, unmodded. And average. Got him. Average and average. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have 15 minutes and change left in the round. Donnie leading. So if we were to rewind the tape here. Do you think Ryan made a mistake in engaging so early? I think he made more of a mistake when he split forces and started kind of going after two different targets. And if he'd had just focus fired on one, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have Timmon sitting on the board or he wouldn't have no uh, Covenel sitting on the board. He could have just eliminated something. Agreed. Timmon sitting back there on two hole just kind of Hanging out. Free shots in the back is not a good thing. I think Ryan realizing he forgot the Del Mico trigger there. He could have actually saved. There's a possibility of saving Wampa, at least on some of the damage. Thirty-seven percent chance of getting one less uh, damage in. Mm-hmm. not a good be place to be sitting with three TIE fighters with you three guns pointed at you from different directions because you can't right so he's he's cut off this way right like I mean he could go into the yeah the gas cloud if he wants to but most likely I mean Temin Temin's in a great aggressive position and so is the A-Wings and Kova. Kova can just back up Greer's coming in hard Temin's coming in you have three shots coming from three angles and you can only deal with one at a time he's got a great little kill box set up Oh, Wampa coming around for the th the 3K to try and block the reverse maneuver. Another 3K from Gideon. Two straight out of 
Dell. Has the focus. I'm wondering if uh, Donnie just stops again. Hard two out of Greer, coming in hard. It's a good spot. I was thinking Donnie's been so aggressive with Kova, I wouldn't be surprised if he just stuck there rather than doing the, the get-out-of-town move. Though if I'm Donnie, I want to try to save those points. Four straight focus seems good. Two Get, bank. Go ahead. Gideon and Womp are both sitting at one hole. Mm-hmm. You just could, gotta, just you gotta could tag him. <laughs> gun down Del Mico right now. Boost around, gun down Del Mico. You have two unmodded shots from the back. If you lose Kova in exchange for Dell, you've got a full health Greer to handle. A full health Greer and Temin coming in to handle the other two. All right, he's backing, backing up. up into, and bumping into Wampa. That's a smart move, honestly. It uh, takes away a shot. Close enough for government work, that's, right? That's right. They're, they're flying <laughs> casual. Ryan's, Ryan's, I think, consigned to losing, I think. He's like, yeah, just, just back it up. It's fine. Honestly, the time is more valuable for him than anything. He's like, you know what? Just go ahead. Just back it up. You're good. If I can get an extra round or two in and maybe pull something, mm -hmm. the dice variance goes my way a little bit. He's he's not out of it yet. Yeah. There it is. Two hits. And he's going to be taking two right there on Kova off the board there. But simultaneous fire says that she will get an opportunity to shoot. Gideon just won. And it goes through. Yep. That's another another hole damage onto uh Temin. And Temin's down to one now. Yep. Donnie up only by eight points, 140 to 132. This is a tight one. Dell with three hole. Everybody else with one. Greer, pretty healthy. Deciding on who to shoot. Sounds like he thinks he has Wampa. I'm not sure from this angle. Yeah, it's it's weird. It it could have Wampa, but just mark the ship out of the way at this point. The you're, you're looking at a range two at Wampa, range two at Gideon or at uh, Dell. Mm -hmm. Neither one have tokens. I'm yeah. really sick. Okay, he's going range one on Gideon. <laughs> Other dice, dragon. Two hits. Two hits. And optics for three. And, and a, he's gone. And a very sad Dell. Dell. Oof. Sad that he spent that focus token. That's what he's sad about. 170 to 132. Nine minutes left on the clock. Man. I'm just surprised that he didn't shoot with Kova first since she's being taken off the table because you could have – I mean, like that – Shoot shoot with Kova, move move her out of the way and find out if you had a shot at – Right, exactly. At Wampa or – Oh. Crit, crit coming in from Temin. Seems good. Del re-roll because he's damaged. Nope. I'm not sure who his target there was. Go ahead and see by who he puts down. That's on to Wampa. Wampa's off the board. And now there's a lot of space in the middle there again. There's a lot of space. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I said taking two ties off the board as well. 
Oh, yeah. With a full health Greer, even a one hole Temin isn't anything to be concerned about. This is Gideon against the world. A whole breach Gideon. <laughs> the whole breach doesn't really matter, but it makes it more dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're here for, right? You guys aren't here for for crits that don't matter. You want you want to see a crit chain right here. You want to end the game with just like you three, know fuel three leak. Three crits popping up and everything exploding. That's right. Fuel leak, fuel leak, into fuel leak. I don't know how many fuel leaks are in a deck. Four. Four. All of them. Fuel leaks damages. into direct hits. Into fuel leaks into direct hits would be. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to take a second here uh, as we cl come into the closing of this match to talk about the Isofane Challenge. So uh, if you guys see right there in the bottom right-hand corner, we got a little meter where uh, we're tracking our donations for this weekend. And Isofane has challenged the community and said, I will double whatever you guys can give. So the more the community gives, the more I'll give. Um, and we're we've doing we're doing a bunch of different exclusive giveaways and prizes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we're doing our normal giveaways, but we got something big, something bigger when we get to our next uh, goal, which is 1,250. We're at 1,041 right now. Thank you, everybody who has taken the time to donate. Uh, you guys are amazing. Every penny counts, and it's how I'm able to bring you guys content from around, literally around the world. <laughs> it's crazy. The best content of X-Wing in the world, in our opinion. Th I appreciate your nice words. I try really hard. All right, three bank, Greer. No Bumping into Gideon. He's, he's got full health. What What's the worst thing that can happen? He doesn't get to shoot, and he waits till the next turn. People wondering how to donate. If you're on uh, PC or on a computer, just scroll down uh, after you're out of full screen, and you'll see a little BB-8 symbol that says one-time donation question mark. You go ahead and click the BB-8. It'll send you to the link to donate. If you're on the mobile device, hold your device vertically. Ooh, all right. Ooh. That's going to close it out there, I think. Three hits and a crit. Good that's game, sir. Handshake. Ooh, man. That was rough. Um, I think we talked about it earlier, right? Splitting up the forces is really yeah. what, what hurt him there. Um, finishing off uh, talking about the Isofane Challenge, if you want to donate on mobile, what you do is you take your phone and hold it vertically and uh, exit full screen, and you're going to see the little Gold Squadron symbol. Click on the Gold Squadron symbol, not on the picture of the, of the video, but like in the app. That'll take you to our landing page. You'll have a couple of options. It'll say uh, videos, clips, and one of them is info. Click on info, and that's where the BB-8 link will be there. So thank you, everybody, who has done that. And it's time It's time to give stuff away. I love giveaways. Let's do it. Boom. So this is the face of the real fun Ooh. Bobby. If you've never seen his face, <laughs> there it is. It's terrifying. It's beautiful. I like it. That's just me, though. I mean, at least uh, your wife has to, like, half like it, at least. <laughs> at least 51% like it. I'll give her 63%. Oh, but that's good. All right. You're good. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you've never participated in our giveaways before, it's very, very easy. All you got to do is type in the chat. And that includes our big giveaways for the donations. Anybody is eligible to get them. This is a community effort. Um, and also, not actually legally allowed to give away giveaways to only people who people who've donated. Like, that's illegal. So can't do that. So everybody's in the fun. We've given away all kinds of stuff already. Everything with a check mark. We've given away three painted ships, uh, some binders, some shirts, all kinds of stuff. And if you guys look at what's on the other side there, we got a lot more stuff to give away. Um, at the 1250 mark... There's a mystery prize. We'll talk about it later, but we're not there yet, so we'll find out. Let's go ahead and give away some cards here. Holding on to that. All right, Bobby. I want you to – let's see. Not these. Those are – sorry. These are for Europe. I got to hold on to those. <laughs> uh, Europe and a, and, a, and a big – there you go. I want those over there too. Bobby – Pick pick a card, any card, pick a card, any card, any card. Ooh. I guess that's thematic, isn't it? It's thematic. We like uh, 
Here we go. We'll give away. We'll give away like uh, like a few of them. Here we go. Perfect. So we have some of the uh, Wave One Black Squadron Tie Fighters. Okay, we got four of these. We're gonna give four of them away right now. All you gotta do is type in the chat. It's super super simple. Here we go. Three, two, one. First winner, Bobby is Paul Striker three fifty nine. Second winner is I B Donny. Third winner is Star Furry Omega. And the fourth winner of the Black Squadron is Hawked Matter. Thank you, Fergus01, for donating to Knowledge. You guys are amazing. I know donations is, is something we haven't really talked about much. Uh, on Gold Squadron, we've really focused on subs. But it's actually really common in uh, video game, twitching stuff, the, the community. That's why the tools are there. Uh, so I know for some of you, this might be like, this is weird. But it's it's part of it. And honestly, it's, it's a huge thing. And obviously, like, this says $1,051, but that's actually $2,102, which means that's that's a – that's going to be able to pay for more events, make it so that uh, uh, I'm not going into debt doing this. <laughs> and so that Mrs. McGold Squadron podcast says, yes, you, you, may, you may do another world tour. So this counts as wife points. Correct. That's exactly it. It is direct. <laughs> $1 equals one wife point. You're donating wife points to Dion <laughs> so he can keep providing us amazing streaming content. <laughs> Bobby, you've given me an idea. I can't do it. I can't implement it today, but I have an idea now. <laughs> I have an idea. All right, guys. Uh, let's give away a few more cards here. So from the Arch Alliance, uh, they're a group out of St. Louis. They gave me a bunch of these heroic cards for their uh, hockey team, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, especially if you like the hockey, you might like this card. Who's going to get it, Bobby? Who's going to get it? I don't know. Let's see. Escal Escarala Filmes. Maybe it's just films? It's like a fancy films? 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 Film. Yeah. Films. <laughs> <laughs> we got another one of those. Uh, ah, well we had. We have. We lost it. No, Saint wait. We found it. St. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Blues Arch Alliance Heroic. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Raja Kusuth. Kusuth. Now, to remind you guys, if you did win a prize, exclamation point win in the chat. A link will pop up. You go ahead and fill that out. Other commands that we have in the chat, we actually have quite a few that you might not know about. You got exclamation point events, which gives you a calendar of all the things we got coming up, including like a Google uh, link that you can like put on your calendar. You're like, what's Dion doing this weekend? You'll know exactly what's going up. Exclamation merch. Excla there Wh you go. Where to buy your gold squadron squadron swag. That's right. That's right. All right. We have an Onyx Squadron Dutch Vander. <laughs> gold <laughs> leader. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Tarhoren. I think I'm farmering these names. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. All right. We got a couple uh, FFG official shield upgrades. That's... There you go. I love this art on this one. It's probably it's one of my my favorite like ones Chewy, that Effigy's done. Chewy working on the Falcon. Yeah. <laughs> ah, everything's wrong with it. All right, we got two of those. <laughs> Who's the first one? Three, two, one. Diablo PDX. And the next one is Radarunan. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and do. Man, Maybe one. that's Radar Ronin. Radar Ronin? Radar, you're right. That's probably that. exactly that. what that is. Um, let's go ahead. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do these. Okay. Oh, my favorite set of cards. Yeah, so we <laughs> 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 This is from the Tech Series, all right, guys? Uh, we have a couple. We have a few LO Worlds. We're going to give away two of these. Two of these, all right? Two LO Worlds. It's from the Tech Community. Thank you guys so much for donating these cards to the stream. Three, two, one. Roll it. Tricor. And? I am that Dave. He's that Dave. As opposed to the real fun Bobby. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. All right, guys. Uh, super fun giving stuff away. We're gonna be, we, have, we do giveaways after every round. Thank you guys so much for joining us. The round timer just ended. I'm going to go ahead and say we're probably starting the next one in about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to have a new co-host for this one. We're, we're starting to cycle people out. Um, all these beautiful losers, right? Absolutely. I came to have fun. I didn't come to win this week. That's right. You came the, to be the next one. I'll the win the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I, lo I love it. <laughs> 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 
Daniel, how um, wh what's your record? Um, four and zero. Oh. Four and zero. Oh, Isofane is four and zero. Oh. Go Gun boats, boats in, in the, the chat. chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be back uh, here with the next round. Let's go ahead and get that up. I want to remind you guys that uh, we are in the midst of the Isofane Challenge. Uh, if you need instructions on how to actually donate, it's actually really easy. It's on the wait screen. There's a couple of uh, slides that will come by that will explain how to do it. Thank you to everybody who has taken the time to do it. You guys are awesome. So I'm just trying to make sure that all these things are set to go for our wait screen. Next, we have round five. Next start time, we're going to go ahead and call it 645 Pacific. 645 Pacific. And we'll be back. Thanks for watching Gold Squadron. Round 5 of the Sacramento Hyperspace Trial is coming up. Thanks for joining us. We are on our world tour.